emerging from their tunnel to the roar of this frenzied crowd here in the Sunshine State. And we're in the big ship, and fittingly, everyone here ready to do battle as Tampa Bay gets ready to match up with Cam Newton and the New England Patriots. Jadon Nickens now from his end zone. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Giovanni Bernard. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've kind of hit the jackpot there. Good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Here's Brady. And a first hook up with his all pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And he's taken down right at the 45 yard line. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Brady going to throw. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Probably mean to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. A good position to be in here, second and inches. On the draw, here's Bernard. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and in inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. On first down, Brady. He drops it off for Bernard. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29 yard line. From the 29, Brady. That's to a guy who is briefly a Patriot, Antonio Brown. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 17-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Incomplete. They were trying to go to Brown once again, and that'll bring up second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. <laughs> After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. 
Brady now to throw. To Evans on the slam. And the Buccaneers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Brady to Evans that time. First down, Tampa. Now Jones. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. Oh, 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 oh. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Wow. Brady. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And a short return to the six-yard line. Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they've got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. And this is going to double their room to maneuver, able to get it from the 5 to the 10-yard line. <coughs> We're scoreless after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football. As they are looking at a second and five situation. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. On the ground, it's Harris. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he'll take this up to the 38-yard line. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. And they run with Harris off the option. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so they can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. On second and nine, Newton. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. On the give, this is Harris. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carry. On second and nine, Newton, it's complete, James White. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and just like that, it's third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Right 
We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. They get only four at that time as that leads us to a fourth down. They snap it to Newton. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down, and the Buccaneers' defense holds, and they get the football back. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started, and they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about Hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Chief, Chief. From midfield, here's Brady. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Second and ten. Watch <laughs> Watch <laughs> oh, from the gun, it's Brady. Got a man, it's Brown. And he's going to have a first down and they get into field goal range here at the 29. It's a gain of 11 and the Bucks have a first down. Here's second and 10. Here's Brady to throw. Oh. That's caught by Howard. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. It's the former Michigan man, Chase Winovich, who gets in there to bring him down. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. And that is no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. I ain't making no noise. Making no noise. I'm making no noise. Making no noise. The pads at the line ready to go. And they will not really have time to do much of anything. 15 seconds, all that remains before halftime. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That's it for the first half. Two more corners to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Both of these coaching staffs making their final adjustments for the second half. And in a scoreless game, you figure it's the offensive guys that made the biggest changes to the game plan. For the call, let's go back out to Brandon God. <coughs> that may have money. The autumn heat. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis and Brandon Gordon set and ready to rock for the third quarter. After a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. Mm -hmm. 
The hat's at the line, ready to go. And Charles, a scoreless first half. How does that change how you assess things here moving forward? Well, it doesn't change it a whole lot, because remember, it's still scoreless, which means you're starting from zero again, so you just have one half to play instead of two. What I would look at my play sheet, though, and see is something that maybe loosens things up for my guys, gets a smile on their faces, and gets them going to begin the second half. <laughs> Second and 14. Now Newton. Open man is Myers. And he's brought down after a very nice game. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Newton throwing again. Over the middle, he's got Myers. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. They'll run it here. This is James White. And this time they were waiting for him. He's going to be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. William Golston in on the stop. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game yeah. instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Throwing on third down, Newton. And caught by Henry. Touchdown! Hunter Henry from 21 yards away. And the Patriots have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. <coughs> well, these two teams battled through a scoreless first half. Finally, a breakthrough here in quarter number three. And I just wonder how that played for both of them psychologically. Because when you battle through a scoreless first half, now you know that every possession is increasingly crucial. Who can put points on the board, make the other team chase? Wonder if you get a lift and if they get deflated a little bit. Jadon Nickens now from his end zone. And he brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to go to the end zone, not a good one. Uh, uh. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Mm -hmm. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. And he's able to get up here to the 26. On second down now, 
It's Jones. Oh, five, oh. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Throwing on first down is Brady. And this will be caught by Brown. And a six-yard game gets him right around the 43. I respect both sides on that play, CD. For him to be able to hold on to that football and the impressive tackle, wow. Did you notice the look between the two of them as they came off the ground? That look did say the word respect. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. And it's complete. He's got Gronk. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the short catch and flip the down marker back to one. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now Brady. He's got Gronkowski yet again. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. <laughs> Back now in Tampa. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Brady now on first down. to his receiver, Godwin. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Where did that go? Get to the coach. My eyes closed. My eyes closed. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8 yard line. Five yards. Now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. We got to cut again. To throw, it's Brady. His pass caught at the four. And the Bucs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Jones. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Well, I have to think that the wheels are really spinning in their play caller's mind now. That little setback there on first down. They'll have three more shots if that's what it takes because they've got to take field goals out of their thought process. They need a touchdown and a conversion to tie this game. What play calls does he have on that sheet? Fournette. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Caught ah. no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. 
His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and come back. It just never materialized. Fournette again. And Let's he goes go. backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. That winds up being a oh, four yard loss and leads to fourth down. Down. I know in this spot they have to be thinking to themselves, let's go ahead and go for it right now. We don't know if we'll get another opportunity. But if you trust your defense at all, you kick the field goal and maybe have one more shot later. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. <laughs> you know I got me in agenda. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter, and going for it on fourth and goal. Oh, Lord, I no surrender. I swear to God, I kiss you, Mattress. I got my money and all these Now graphics. Brady got to have this one. Got him. Down. Bow. Do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. He couldn't get the ball away on fourth oh, and goal. And the Patriots defense is going to take over oh, on down. And I spin it. Got a nerve of my business. Why? The Pats at the line ready to go. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two score game as they've got it first and 10. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively. That's a fun maneuver. The the Bucks with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Now Newton. And a oh. going to be incomplete. <laughs> Even in today's NFL, when we think hey, of the tight end position now is really a glorified wide receiver, we're still like asking so a lot of those guys. They have to block hey, as dude, well. Hello, five, but every now and oh. then, they don't come Good. down with the football. The Patriots send out their punter. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Oh, we talk. We can't detect our body parts. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And we see <coughs> drive after drive come up empty for them. And they've yet to dent the scoreboard, yet still right in the middle of a one score game. So this is where you absolutely have to forget everything that's happened in your previous drives. They don't matter right now. You just mentioned it. One score game. This drive here can erase all of what happened previously. I might not buy you no mistakes. But I'm gonna try your ass crazy. 
Now a desperation oh, throw deep downfield. And he bats it oh. away and it falls down incomplete. JC Jackson there defensively to knock it away. Too many zeros on the stat sheet thus far. No Any touchdown other day. passes. No that points for his team, okay. but he remains undaunted. Still attempting to get his team on the scoreboard, firing What's the ball downfield. To throw is Brady. That's complete to his running back, Evans. Oh, and he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Sydney Curry. Brady to throw. I don't know. Past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Back to back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First back. Back, back. Now Brady. Back, back. Back, He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it's back, caught. Back. It's a touchdown. So they rally here back. in the final minute. And they're an extra point away back. from tying back. this game. Back. And while it appears the heavy lifting back. was accomplished back. by scoring back. the touchdown, back. they're still back. down one. That extra back. point back. is not a gimme. Do it big. Do you. Do it big. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Back, 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 back. Girl, back, back, back. The Pats at the line are ready to go. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play, but if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Second and two. At the same time. I'm going to hold you like my daddy. Mm -hmm. Now Newton. To Henry. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. Man, the clock stops with yards and three seconds to go in the game. <laughs> To back good plays have them on the move on Put first the down. Back, back, back. Newton. And incomplete on the deep ball. What if they were on me for this? Good God. Because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls <laughs> like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense back, back. forcing that incompletion? Back, back. Throwing is Newton. He'll get this to his tight end. It's Janu Smith. Nine Let's yards, try. and that leaves him have. just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Oh, and a timeout good. coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. Burr. Big third down, a field goal from this spot, 57 yards as they hope to move it a little closer. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. Wasted.
Ball game. Patriots have won the football game.